Hello everyone! Long time no see! I know, it's been a year. It's been a year since I've posted anything. Um, and I could make all of the excuses in the world. I had time to make videos and I just haven't. So I wanted to make this video just to tell you guys a little bit about what's going on in my life. Um, why I haven't posted videos, and talk actually a little bit about how I got into reading, which kind of explains why I haven't really been reading a lot and why I haven't been posting a lot. This is going to be more of a chatty video more than anything else, so um, if you're into that, keep watching and you'll learn a little bit more about me than I've kind of talked about in previous videos. So I first want to kind of talk about how I got into reading because I think that will help explain kind of the reading slump that I've been in and I don't really know how to explain it um, other than kind of give you some background and how I got started into reading. When I was younger I absolutely hated reading. I was not a bookworm in the slightest. There were books that I did enjoy when I was growing up. My first kind of book series that I did enjoy was actually Nancy Drew. In fifth grade, I remember it for our reading grade that we, on a weekly basis, would have to track how many pages we read and then we would compare that to the class average and then that would be our grade. So it's one of those things to where I remember reading 200 pages a week of Nancy Drew and I would think that that was awesome, that I did so well, and then two people, they would read like a thousand pages for that week and it would destroy my average and I really hated that because I put a lot of effort into those 200 pages for someone who didn't like reading. So I think ever kind of since then I just was like, nah, I'm not good at it, Meh, it's not for me. So then for the next couple of years, there were certain books that I liked, but I would never have ever considered myself, you know, a bookworm or a bibliophile. So what kicked off my actual book enjoyment kind of comes from depression. I had been a swimmer for about eight years. I was swimming in college. Then I started developing some knee problems. Long story short, I ended up having to have extensive knee surgery um, when I was a junior in college and that just sucked and basically my swimming career was kaput. And so I found myself in the situation where I was working out, you know, close to 20 hours a week for so many years and I had called myself a swimmer and an athlete. And then all of a sudden I just wasn't that anymore. Um, I had lost a lot of mobility because I needed my knee to heal. I was on crutches for like six to eight weeks. It was, the rehab on top of that was super long and extensive. Um, so I went through a bout of depression because I didn't know who I was anymore. So what ended up happening in my free time I started reading because it was a way that I could disentangle my mind from its present conflict and move it into this fictional world where I didn't have to deal with my problems. The problems were the main character's problems and they weren't mine. And that's when I really started to read a lot. It was a really great coping mechanism for me and so that's when I really delved into reading and then that's when I kind of got and started looking and watching YouTube videos. That just basically blew my mind and from there I just continued reading and that's when I started making my YouTube channel and that is when I kind of became a bibliophile. So this reading frenzy carries me throughout the last few years of college until I moved to Scotland to study abroad and get my master's degree until about, I want to say May, April is kind of when I started pitfalling a little bit. I wasn't pitfalling in terms of emotional stability and I wasn't going further into depression. It was actually kind of the opposite. I stopped making reading a priority and I think a lot of that reason is because 
I had found a really great group of friends that I really enjoyed hanging out with. Um, and I found that I would rather end up hanging out with them versus making reading a priority. I also noticed around that same time I started having this really bad reading slump. The year that followed after I kind of started making videos was also a really hectic time in my life. I went from, you know, finishing my master's thesis to my dorm basically kicking us out and me not having any place to stay to being homeless and living in a hostel for about a month, then me moving in and living with my boyfriend, um, me leaving in February to come back to the United States from Scotland, um, having a long distance relationship as well as trying to find a job um, in the first couple months, then having a job where I was working 70 hours a week, um, and then him coming over and wanting to spend all that time with him while he could be here. So just a lot of stuff has happened um, in the last couple um, year and a half of my life. And again, I know that's not an excuse because within those periods of time, there was time to read and there was time to um, make videos, but I just didn't. I didn't make it a priority. I'd rather watch Netflix and chill with my boyfriend or my friends and just kind of hang out instead of reading on my own. And over the months, I know that like I want to get back into reading like I want to do it so this last year in January one of my New Year's resolutions was to find my passion for reading again because I did love it and I really did enjoy it and I loved making YouTube videos with you guys and talking about books but a few things have changed I'm also finding that I'm not liking the same books that I used to there are definitely some books that I will continue to read, like the Throne of Glass series. I definitely love that series. Um, you know, there's other series that I really did like and I want to try to read, um, again, like The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, um, and also Cassandra Clare's books. I seem to really enjoy those books no matter kind of where I am at the moment, but in the YA genre at least, I've become a lot more picky in what I like and I just don't find the same enjoyment reading some books that I know I used to like versus what I'm liking now. So I'm going to be going on a little bit of a journey in venturing out of this YA genre that I used to love and kind of experience um, and read different genres because I want to have this love of reading again and I think that's just kind of what I need to do in order to get out of it. Oh! Another update for you guys of another reason why I haven't really been reading that much. I'm writing a book. I know that's the thing that people seem to be doing nowadays, um, but I'm writing a book and sometimes I don't like reading when I'm writing the book because I don't want to get my own character. I don't want to mess up her own characteristics and being influenced by the main character that I'm reading. So I want to make sure that my main character is as purely and uniquely her as possible um, and from my own imagination um, versus being influenced by other books that I would be reading at the moment. So now that I'm in the editing process, I'm sure that I can kind of multitask a little bit more. But we'll see. That's a lot of rambling, but I hope that gives you guys some sort of understanding of where I've been, what I've gone through, and kind of where I'm at at the moment. So anyways, stay tuned for more books because that will be on the horizon. And also guys, let me know what kind of books that you guys are reading. I'm really out of the loop here. So I need to uh, update my Goodreads a little bit and uh, go through and I think purge some books that I don't think I'm going to read anymore as well as add some books that seem interesting. So feel free to subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And do I have anything else? Goodreads? It's been a while since I've done this, people. I think that's all. And also this channel. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Until then, bye! Hello and welcome to a video that I haven't done in like 
a year, it's a tag video! Yay! The tag is the Bookish Theater. 